The following program is a Town of Colony television production of the William K. Sanford Town Library. Welcome to Albany County News. I'm Mary Rosak, the Director of Communications for Albany County. And in the next half hour or so, we are going to talk about a brand new head of an organization that's been around for a little while, but promotes everything in the capital region. And I want to introduce you to Jill Delaney, the new CEO over at Discover Albany or Albany County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Welcome. Take your pick. Thank you. <laughs> let's, let's, let's start out by that. So, sure. dis so Discover Albany is something, it's it's brand new, or I should say probably the last year or so. I think yeah, it's yeah. so it's a rebranding of the Albany County Convention and Visitors Bureau. We are still officially the Albany County Convention and Visitors Bureau, the destination uh -huh. marketing organization. But mm -hmm. Our, our brand is Discover Albany, which is really more intended to to welcome people mm -hmm. to our county and our region. So when Discover Albany, there is so much to discover, as you well yes. know, because I know you live in Clifton Park. I do. But you are, you're from downstate, a downstater, right, at Kingston? Kingston, a little downstate. <laughs> who came to school here and basically never left. I, I fell in love with the area, as did my husband, and, you know, when we were picking home for our family, this was it. This was the right place for us to land. Mm -hmm. So it's what, great. what attracted you most? There's just so much opportunity here as far as career, business opportunity, as well as things to do for, uh, for families and at the time, you know, young couples. Um, so many more things to do than in a lot of other parts of the state. So we just felt like it was the complete package for us. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of great schools and um, wonderful museums, things that we could do to fill our time. And, you know, when we first decided to settle, we didn't have a whole lot of money, and many mm -hmm. of those things are very free or affordable. Sure, so sure. It you, great. You went to UAlbany. What I did. did. Talk about what you went to school for. I studied communication at UAlbany and um, have used that degree th my entire career. So it was a um, good choice for me, definitely. Mm -hmm. So you went for communications, mm -hmm. but you are no stranger to tourism and the right. industry. So how did that, let's talk, walk me down the path. How did that uh, translate? How did I get into how tourism? How did you get into that? So I went sort of the nonprofit route. I've mm -hmm. been working in and out of nonprofit organizations for most of the 20 some years that I've been working. Mm -hmm. And um, my last organization was the New York State Tourism Industry Association. So I came to that with some tourism background. I actually, ironically, was an intern in college with I Love New York. So oh, wow. it kind of came full circle. Um, and I've always enjoyed the industry and any opportunity I've had to work with it has been great. I've worked in a museum. I've worked in um, community development. But tourism has really become a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, working with the statewide tourism association, I got to know a lot about the industry and I definitely did not want to leave it. So did you, your your uh, path must have crossed with Michelle Vinard. Absolutely. Yes, yes. So I knew Michelle before I came to Discover Albany. We worked together in the statewide association. How daunting. Is that daunting a little bit, though? Those I are think? big shoes to fill. Yeah. I mean, Michelle was here, oh gosh, several months ago talking about what it would be like to. Uh, to now actually step out of that role that she that she'd had for so long. Yes, yeah, she was in that role for about twenty five years, I believe. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, had, having come from you know the I Love New York program, she'd done all kinds yes, of things. Yes. Um, so, discover Albany. There are all kinds of things. You have a vision. Absolutely. Tell me, tell me, what what is your vision? I would love for Albany to to be not simply seen as the state capital. We have so many assets, so many things to do. We have a fantastic visitorship based on historic um, 
tourism, mm -hmm. people can come here and see 400 years of history, which mm -hmm. you don't get to see in many cities in the U.S. But there's so many things that can be done to draw in more visitors and more conventions. And one of the things that we've been looking at is the waterfront of mm -hmm. Albany. You know, we have this opportunity, this beautiful waterfront area, and that's been a, a great draw for other cities in New York, um, Canal Side in Buffalo. Sure. What has been a great success, a boon for that area, and we would love to continue to grow and develop the waterfront, and I know the city of Albany is looking at that as well, so it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to create an image that a visitor would want to see and there's so much development happening already tied to that with um, the upcoming Skyway project mm -hmm. which actually will put people at the waterfront and at the other end dump them right in front of our visitors so, center. So talk about that because I know there's there are some people that are skeptical and they're saying it would it, it, it'll never happen or it's pie in, pie in the sky. What your involvement with the Skyway project are you in, involved at all with the project? Or no, I, I'm not one of the planners. I've been attending the meetings really as a, um, a stakeholder okay. because it, it does put people, like I said, I mean, mm -hmm. if you know where that the ramp currently is, mm -hmm. right now, if I get in the, the end of that ramp and turn right, I'm at my visitor center. Mm -hmm. It puts you right next Clinton to... Ave, the Clinton Ave ramp, is that what we're talking yes. about? Yep, yep. so okay. it puts Office you right on Broadway, and our visitor center, you can see it right from that ramp. If I look out my office window, I can actually see what will be the Skyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I don't see it as pie in the sky. I think it's something that will happen, and done well will increase traffic to this side of of the city of Albany, this side where the visitor center is and so much of the history is, and there's so many so many projects and ideas and development. Yeah, the, uh, the other side dumps off at uh, at the rail station, am I correct? The is other side of the... So, oh, yeah. Of, of, the, so of, goes, of the Skyway. I, for, for those who are not familiar right, with, with um, right. the Skyway. I don't take that ramp ever driving, but yes, I believe it goes from... It's supposed to jump dump you at the waterfront so when you walk down it will actually bring you to the river so we're connecting essentially we're connecting Rensselaer County with Albany County via the Skyway you're, it's it's still Albany County you're you're staying Albany County waterfront to Okay, you're talking Albany about downtown. the Skyway. Okay, I get, yes. I'm, I'm talking about the Skyway project also. That's that's going to going to connect over. It's my understanding connecting over the river. I think that's a piece of the discussion, but not the part that I'm okay, not talking about or interested in. Nope, nope, got it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the whole thing is going to yes. would be beautiful. For, it would for be. It would be a fantastic thing. The bigger, the better. We love our friends in Rensselaer County too. So I'd be happy to see um, traffic come from there. So. The beauty of this is, as you said, the Skyway Project, it would actually have people, draw people right there at the, yes. at the, the visitor's uh, center. Mm -hmm. What is at the visitor center for those who have not been down there? Well, we have what you would typically expect to find at a visitor center, which is all the information that you could want about Albany County and actually the surrounding area because we partner with all of the regional tourism groups. So mm -hmm. um, you could find out what to do for that day, where to go to dinner. You can talk to our visitor service representatives and they could answer tons of questions. We have um, interactive touch screen mm -hmm. so you could actually find information for yourself and explore right there. Mm -hmm. and, and we currently also have a gift shop and a museum so you could really preview the history of Albany all 400 years before you go out into the city to, to participate. Wow, so the museum in there, is that is there an admission fee? Is it, no, no okay. it is free. Okay, so folks can go into uh, into the museum, take a look at what there is, and then actually go out and see it for real. Yes. Mostly the museum is used by school groups, so okay. it's a way for, um, especially fourth grade, because they study the New York State project, mm -hmm. they do that all year long, so a lot of them will come to our museum before or after going to the, the Capitol or the New York State Museum or any of the other other um, destinations in downtown Albany and will be another stopping point and a place for them to regroup and we have space for the students to eat their lunch if they brought the lunch and do some activities and we actually have someone who um, runs that whole program and, and will give the students tours and mm -hmm. um, really our, our resident historian. Okay, okay. And I know that we've had uh, we've had Maeve. That's Maeve. In That's here, in here before about. and she, she talks about uh, a lot of times we talk about the haunted tours and, oh, and, yes. and those kind of things so yeah. uh, we'll have we'll have babe back again oh good soon. 
But let's talk more about about the the, the waterway. Mm -hmm. um, 787. And that 787 has been a source of, of um, controversy, I guess is the best, best way to put it. Yeah. How do you see, as you're coming in mm -hmm. to this new role, and you know, we're talking about taking advantage, better advantage of the waterway, right. tell me what, what your thoughts are on 787. 787 isn't going to go anywhere. It, it's not like Boston where we're, they buried it their uh, elevated highway underground. 787 is there and it's something that we have to learn to embrace and work with and work around. And so I don't look at that as an obstacle because mm -hmm. it's, it's not an optional thing. So it's just there and it gets me to my office and I'm happy it does. So, <laughs> so what are the ways do you see then of, of us being able to get greater utilization of, of, of the, the waterfront? Water, of the waterfront. There are a lot of opportunities and I know that the city is looking at that from a planning perspective as well. So the, there is access to the waterfront now. There's the walkway, but mm -hmm. it's, it's actually not that obvious when right. you're walking. Um, when, you're on, when you're on Broadway, when you're on Broadway yeah, you unless know. you know it's over right. there. So there are tremendous opportunities to make that more visible, you know, with visual cues that, hey, you are actually at something interesting and you should keep going. What I would love to see, and whether this comes to fruition or not, is really for there to be um, the visitor center be the starting point mm -hmm. and we bring the museum, not what's currently in there, but essentially a museum to life throughout the city, starting at the visitor center with sculpture, with art, with okay. signage. You know, even our logo emblazoned on the sidewalk in various places, so it's sort of a, like a trail, an actual trail, okay. uh, and that would guide people. You know, you could have a, a Henry Hudson sculpture, a, a, mm -hmm. a half moon ship, or something that says, "Hey, you're actually here, and you can get to the water." Front. Which is sad that, of course, we lost, we lost the uh, the half moon. Yes, unfortunately. Yes. Um, but we do have quite quite a few. We have the USS Slater. We do. We have They're the fantastic. Dutch Apple. We have great things that, uh, that are there. I love the idea of doing a trail with like Discover Albany. Yeah. It, then it can be self guided, or mm -hmm. it can be something that you know Maeve or some of our other um, ambassadors could really bring people out into the city and and get them started on it, discovering Albany. It's wonderful when we think about um, discovering Albany itself, mm -hmm. but it's the Albany um, um, County Convention and Visitors it Bureau. Sure so, is. so yeah. let's talk about some of your vision for bringing more of the county, other areas, into into your vision. Yeah, absolutely. There are so many assets beyond the city of Albany, and I mean, I think when people hear Albany, they think downtown Albany. Sure, it's the capital. People envision that, but we have amazing parks. We have Thatcher Park. They now have the Adventure Park there where you can actually do some, mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember exactly what that one is called. There's, it's brand new. Um, that one's gonna slip my mind. But um, the, there are, oh, it's Wild Play Elements Park. Oh, okay. okay. And, and that, you know, you can actually zip line and do some really incredible things beyond what was already available mm -hmm. at Thatcher Park. There are so many assets, and we actually already promote all of them. We're not focused on downtown, but we are located downtown, and often that's the gateway to get people to expand and sure. discover and you can, and you the rest of the county. You can't forget to be promoting Lawson Lake. No. Lawson, Lawson Lake County Park. And exactly. The, and the executive, all kinds of great things going on. The new amphitheater. Have you been out? Probably not yet. No, have I have not there? yet. I've been kind of working my way sure. through and, and seeing all of the different assets. We have we to have. get you out there to, to, to Lawson I'd Lake. Love There's it. brand new amphitheater that's just been put in. There's Fantastic. a playground, basketball, um, trails. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. But so bringing people out to to the Hilltown areas, to some of those exposing exposing people to yes. that little, little more. Of yes, that. yes. Um, there is quite a bit of work that is done out of your office with movies and movie production, film yes. production. Yes. Deb Gedeke. She's amazing. She is the film commissioner for Albany. And we recently in, in Albany had some, some closed streets for a little while, but, did. but there, were, there was another film production going on. What actually, how much work actually goes into that? Because that I would think, is that like trying to get a convention when you're actually trying to go out and get 
producers to, to, to come see the locations and say, this is where we want to be? Not for me, but for Deb, possibly. Yep. It's about the equivalent. Um, she does a lot of work in really sharing the message about how, how easy it is to work in Albany. You know, you can get the same shots in downtown Albany that you might be trying to get in New York City, mm -hmm. but it's a lot easier from a permitting and, and street closure um, and, you know, keeping the crowd that bay standpoint mm -hmm. and and you get the same end result and she puts a lot of work in it and she makes it sure. look easy sure. I, you know if I was to try to do it I'm sure it wouldn't be as seamless but she's fantastic well years <laughs> years ago um, well, not that long ago but years ago 787 came into play with salt yes that I was one of the big that. reasons yeah. I think that they uh, that they said they, they came here yes so what do you know is there anything you can share in terms of any future film production has I, Deb shared that no that Deb it? is really good at keeping everyone only in the know of what they need to know so that none yep. of us can slip. <laughs> that makes that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm Mary Rosak, uh, Albany County News. We are talking with Jill Delaney from Discover Albany. So we're, we've talked a little bit about your vision. We've talked a little bit about, um, you know, expanding into mm -hmm. throughout Albany County, but it's sure. really bigger than um, just Albany County. You do a lot of work as a capital region, right? We a lot do. of work with, with Saratoga. And there are some numbers that, that truly support um, yes. when it comes to economic impact for the, for the state and the region. Mm -hmm. And some of those just came out recently. They did. Can, yes. can, you, um, can you talk about that? I know that Albany itself draws um, a good portion of we, those dollars. We in. do. So tourism dollars um, that come into the region Region, I believe, let me see if I can get all the numbers straight. Visitors just to Albany County were at over 4,000 per day. So 4,000 a day. Per okay. day. So 4,300 visitors come into Albany every single day. So that really boosts up our population on a daily basis. So when you think about it that way, it's pretty impressive. And we actually save by promoting tourism and bringing in the spending that visitors bring in, every household saves over $1,000 a year in taxes because okay. they're being paid by visitors. So it's a, a really big impact that I don't think that your your average person would think about or realize that this is really good for you mm -hmm. as a resident that the tourists are coming in. I like to tell that story because mm -hmm. I think that's one that people can relate to and think, all right, not only do you want people to come in because they're spending their money here, but there's something in it for you. Sure. And that almost helps to translate our residents into ambassadors who want people to come in sure. and are going to answer questions on the street of how to get somewhere. You know, these are your friends and they're helping you. Mm -hmm. So help them back. So these numbers we're, are great. We're talking about, I mean, they're spending money on food and hotels hotels and all yes. of that um, for taxes, which is yep. also helping to support our businesses. Exactly. They're exactly. paying they're paying for parking. They're you know doing all kinds they're gonna take that skyway. Right? right. And jobs. I mean over fifteen thousand jobs are supported by tourism in mm -hmm. this county. And of the entire region, the capital Saratoga region, which is multiple counties, mm -hmm. all of that the tax base, the money that's coming in, more than half of that is Albany County alone. And I know the, the figure of the office provided $2 billion industry between the capital and, and Saratoga region, $2 billion. Yeah, it's, it's huge, just this region, $2 billion industry. So when you think about it in terms of those numbers, I mean, it's over $100 billion statewide. Mm -hmm. So our region alone is $2 billion of that. Obviously, New York City is going to be your biggest piece of that. Sure. Um, but when you take New York City out, it's fairly evenly divided amongst the rest of the state, but in our region, Albany County is 51% of the, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. total amount. So we really do take in that much more than all of the other counties of the region combined. And I know that when you talk about, you talked a little bit about the um, the cultural history being being a draw. Yes. There's a there's a good reason when we take a look at, I think it's called Heritage. Yes, Cultural um, Heritage Cultural Tours. Heritage Tours. 
those folks that come here for those reasons tend to spend more and stay longer. They do, absolutely. That's a, a reason number one to cater to that audience. They're going to come here looking for multiple days worth of activities, and we have that within walking distance for the most part. Um, so it's it's an easy sell when you package it the right way, and that's something that we've done as an organization is really work together with all of those organizations like Skylar Mansion, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many exciting things that we can do. And when you get those uh, destinations to talk together and work together and plan, everybody is stronger and everybody draws in more people. And that's one of the roles that we play. So we talked about the visitor portion of it. Let's talk about the convention side of it. Mm -hmm. um, because we have, you know, that the, the brand new, still say brand new, it's, you know, just yeah, a, a, it's still a shiny. year and a half, <laughs> right, or, or, or so. Um, convention uh, convention center, the Capitol Center. Right. How, there, were, there was a lot of talk um, before it was built. Would we be able to bring the business here? I know you're brand new to this, yes. but have we been able to bring what we need to bring and, and how do we continue to, to do that? We've definitely been bringing in business. Um, the first year they exceeded their expectation and it wasn't even a full year mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't want to quote you on those numbers because I don't sure like you said I don't yep, have that memorized fine. yet but we're ahead already this year from where we were last year so it's definitely going well and now it's about getting that message out there we did have a lot of conventions already coming here, mm -hmm. but we're not just taking those and moving them to the Capitol Center. What we're able to do now is to bring in larger groups and larger mm -hmm. conventions that we weren't able to host before because we didn't have a facility space that could do it. But when you take not just the Capitol Center itself, but the full complex that's created mm -hmm. with Empire State Plaza and the Egg and the Times Union Center, we can bring in and host in much, much larger groups. And that just makes everybody better. All of the hotels then can fill up more. And so we're now. looking now at bringing in more multi-year groups like the New York State United Teachers Conference. If they're signing for three to five years, any of these groups, it will just make our job that much easier. Then mm -hmm. we go for the next big, big thing. And we're still bringing in the smaller conferences to the hotels that have the great spaces that we've always promoted. Mm -hmm. So you, you're very, you sounded like you're very positive as, as you're moving ahead and looking, looking absolutely at, how many years out when you, you say when when the uh, sign for conferences three to five years how how many years out are we really planning is your team really planning when they take a look at that you know it depends on the type of organization that we're going for and we're looking at things now some groups just aren't planners so some mm -hmm. are going to say hey I've got something in six months do you have a space some want to book five years from now mm -hmm. and and the three years after that. So we look at big picture calendar, everything from what's not filled right now to what can we start filling in five years. Someone at home probably is thinking, gosh, how do you even know what to charge five years down the road? How do, how do you figure that you out? You know, there's a, a lot of data that I don't have locked mm -hmm. up in my head, but we have an amazing sales and uh, team and their expertise is in conventions and they work with the organizations that we are serving here in the county to come up with those numbers. And, mm -hmm. you know, we can see the trends and that there hasn't been a significant jump from one year to the next in what the room rates are and um, you know, kind of anticipate what food and beverage costs are going to be. Mm -hmm. And you plan from there. And I think that depending on the group, they're going to make the contract based on um, projections and versus actuals at times. But again, that, that would be sure. something to talk to my director of sales about more than me. <laughs> so you you do, you really, it is a team. Oh my effort. goodness, yeah. How, how big is, your, is the team? Um, full time, there's 12. Okay. And, but we also have the visitor's center and mm -hmm. that is open on the weekends as well. And we have um, the information desk at the Albany Airport. So when you roll 
role. Which in, we forget about a lot. Isn't that, yeah, and I think that that's a really important function that we serve as an organization, and that's been a great relationship. And with all of that combined, we have full and part-time 41 people. Oh, wow. So it's a very big organization. Do you have volunteer opportunities as well? We do, absolutely. What, we, kinds, what kinds of things do volunteers do? So we have um, two different things that really kind of are merging together. We have the um, Albany Visitor Champion Program, so it's called A to D, Arrival to Departure, and it's a program where we train uh, frontline staff, anybody who might be interacting with the public, which frankly is anyone mm -hmm. who talks to a visitor. Mm -hmm. They could be um, a visitor champion. So they take a, a combination of a, a brief online course as well as an in-person class, and I've gone through this myself. I can tell you it's really great, mm -hmm. but also straightforward enough that it, it's, it's a course that um, anyone can master. Mm -hmm. And it trains them on how to interact with the public, but also how to get to know the area that you're in so that you're seeing it from the perspective of a visitor so that when they say, how do I get you know, to this place or where is there to eat, you can actually answer that question in a really, really okay. helpful way. And so what we do is they become our champions. They're out there telling our story when we're not there to tell the story. And we also have ambassadors. So we have volunteers, interns, um, some of our, our staff who really are ambassadors for Albany County. And we will have them, you may have seen them at a, a Live at Five, they'll ah, have a table okay. set up. Yep. Um, with our wonderful logo on a big tablecloth and giving out information and brochures and um, do all sorts of things. We've had, you know, Maeve bringing fur from beavers to tell the history of hmm. why the Dutch came to Albany because of the beaver pelts. Sure. And, and it really engages people. So those ambassadors are continuing to push that story out and engage even more people to come back. Wow. You can tell you have such a such an enthusiasm and a passion. I do. <laughs> for, for this. You live you live and breathe Discover Albany, don't you? I do, I do, and I'm glad to. It's a really we gotta, a, we exciting have, we, thing. You have to move to Albany County. I have been told that it would make the commute easier. <laughs> it certainly would. Although you know what, when you're when you're yeah, when you're coming here in the morning you're probably uh, you got that northway traffic, right? It's not so bad. I lived in Boston briefly. This is nothing. <laughs> well no, no, I, I I believe that. But hey, you know what? Maybe they'll have some kind of Skyway project. Project that'll extend throughout Albany County and take it. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yes. Just walk to work then. <laughs> if you had one thing to uh, to as your as your parting thought for folks who are out there mm. finding out about Discover Albany, one thing to say to them hmm. would it what what would that be? One thing to say. One thing to say to our audience. Would it be something that has to do with volunteering? Would it be something about discovering something? Or would it be sharing something? What, what would that one thing be? I, I think the one thing I would say is that it, tourism is really good for all of us. It, you know, yes, once in a while we're going to bring in a big group and it may slow you down getting to work one day. But it's really good because it keeps our businesses open and that means they can be open for you. Our restaurants are there to serve you because our tourists are spending money there as well. And so what I would love to see, my dream, is for everyone, all of our residents, all of the people who work in Albany County, to become ambassadors, to start to share our story because the more people people we have telling this story, the stronger we're all going to be. That means a staycation for some people so they can just truly discover. Absolutely. Company. Great idea. Jill, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming in. We'll have thank you back, you back again me. and uh, you know, get a little bit more perspective as you have a little yeah. more time under your belt in this I'd new love role. it. Congratulations. Thank you. We've been talking with Jill Delaney, the president and CEO of Discover Albany, the Albany County Convention and Visitors Bureau. I'm Mary Rozak. This has been Albany County News. We'll see you again soon.